Okay, can everybody hear me? Testing one, two, three, four. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all. Sorry, there was a... Uh, most of that delay was due to this. Once in a while, I come into the studio to do things and stuff isn't working. So uh, I had to fix something. Hello, everyone. What's happening? We got AJ modding, Raven Riley, K body, all modding. Thank you for modding. Uh, over there on Twitch, um, I know David Green was over there modding. Uh, Ezra Dax is here. Hello, Ezra Dax. Dancing in the Sand. BB Fan. MF in Florida is here. April Coco, John Majewski, John Jerome, Karen Belial, NDH, Evelyn in Maine, Euro Maestro is here. Hey, Euro Maestro, good to see you. Stephanie, Desi D. Pop, PZ Papa Zulu, Marks, Christine Atherton, Veronica Singleton, Old Farm Show, Stephanie, John 1948, Flag or Ghost Girl, Chucky's Chicklet, Des, De, Desi Des, T Sky. Um, Gossamer, Gigi, Marty Hagwood, NAH, Manic Mation, JK Sinar, Maria's Kitty Cats, Kariba Guyan, Veronica Singleton, Phoenix Rising, NYY, Captain Chris, Jess C, HCBBB Sweden, Lucerne, Jen RB, Maria's Kitty Cats, I think I said that, Catherine of Sweden, Tracy Ralston, Secret Squirrel Flips, Ellen G, Bree, U Lands, Nuclear Fire, hey everyone. Foundation you. Good to see everybody. Okay. Kimberly Barr says, hello from me and all my critters. Smoke Steve is here. Highland James is here. Timmy Tushu is here. Hello. What's happening? The Apostle Steve. Ryan the Gamer, what is this? Uh, Ellen Rees is here. Tracks and Relax, monotropic guitarist from Wyoming. Daniel Terrell is in Qatar. Wow. 3.43 a.m. there. Lori and Mike is here. Ryan Smith is here. Uh, K9 Striker is here. Hello. Misty is moderating. Hello, Misty. Thank you for moderating. Sherry is here. Jensen Brown. Flag. Uh, we said that already. Mary Hodge is here. LP Cat Guy is here. Bastion Girl is also here on Twitch. Hello, Bastion Girl.
Liam Grogan is here. The dude is here. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. The Spanish stuff. Okay. Linda Belk is here, Monty. Hey, Linda, how are you? So again, I am uh, sorry for the delay. Sorry for the delay. Mostly it was due to technical issues. There was a camera issue. Camera seems to be working now, though, I think. I think it's working. Anita Modaluski is here. Hello. Yep, working good. I can see it. I can see. Make sure you're watching on 1080. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'll go to any Red Sox games this year. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Sarah's modding too on... Uh, Sarah's modding on Twitch as well. Hey, Sarah. Sue Moreno says, watching on 1080. Over Fear is here. Okay, so uh, Frosty the Dough Man is here from Canada. Frosty the Dough Man. Hello. DL Vids, what say what? Evelyn in Maine. The mannequin hat got changed last stream. One of the viewers wanted it, so we gave it a try. Marks is here. Bipods with tripods is here. Barb RN is here. 77 Pool Bob is here. Kinetic is watching in 144 PG Wiz. Uh, Mark Rush is here. Yeah, we switched the hat in the previous. Oh, the bling is like months ago. Hey, Luann. Cindy Lou is here. What is Ascot opening day? I don't even know what that is, Euro. I have no idea. Horse racing? What did I just do here? Horse race in England, says Linda. Okay. Oh my gosh, Philippe Lewis. That's so nice of you, Philippe. Philippe, I didn't even know you watched this channel. Fleep has been a really generous supporter of Agenda Free TV, which I greatly appreciate that. And Fleep also uh, often is in the chat on Agenda Free TV. I don't, Fleep, I don't know that I ever knew you watched this channel. Fleep, that's really kind of you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Really nice of you. Uh, Brandon Johnson is here. Nikki Conway is here. Barb RN is here. Brig Commander is here. Bella Sadist is here.
Okay, so the first thing we want to do, the first thing I want to talk about is, oh my gosh, hold on a second. Philippe donated again. That incredibly generous. Wow, geez, Philippe, man. I haven't even done anything yet. Philippe must think this is really crazy, this channel now, because Philippe has never watched this channel. Jeez, thanks, Philippe. So nice of you. Wow. Man. Very extremely generous from Philippe. Yeah, this, is, this isn't like the other channel, Philippe. It's very different. Very different. It's not totally different, I guess, because I'm on it, but... You know, speaking of the other channel, right before we came on the air, you know, I was looking at, there's this, there's this story where basically Brazil wants certain accounts on X, which is formerly Twitter. Brazil wants certain accounts banned from X. Their government wants it because they feel, I think, that these accounts are spreading harmful misinformation, and they told X to do it. And now Elon Musk is saying, I won't do it. And Elon Musk, you know, verbally attacked the judge that ordered it. And so now, like, Brazil says they're investigating Elon Musk. It's not like they're going to go arrest Elon Musk. He's, he's not in Brazil. But, you know, I, I, part of me was toying with the idea of covering it. But at this point, I, more has to happen for me to cover it. Like, if, if Twitter, if X stops, if X says we're not going to be in Brazil anymore... I might go on the air and cover that, but it just wasn't, didn't really warrant a stream. I, I posted something about it on my X account, but it just didn't, ultimately I didn't think it warranted an entire stream. So I was just, there was a little, some news that came out about that right before I went on the air and I was looking at that. So that was about five or 10 minutes of the delay. The rest of the delay is that my camera temporarily wasn't working. Um, so, you know, I'll keep an eye on it. Hey, thanks to Des Desi. Desi Des, I'm sorry. Thanks, Desi Des. So nice of you. Thanks so much for your support, Desi Des. Thank you. Oh, I know, Sarah, I'm sure the chat would, would get really crazy. It's just, uh, there's not, the stream would be me saying the same thing every four minutes, 20 straight times or something. So... Uh, again, I'll keep an eye on it. I, I just, at this point, don't think it's there yet. When did you start your just interest in agenda-free news, says Philippe Lewis? Um, I kind of accidentally fell into it like six years ago. I was... Uh, no, I... I, I, um, I uh, was always... In, I always followed news, but I kind of accidentally ended up at this startup company where they were they weren't doing live news coverage but they kind of showed me how to use the technology because we were using it at work and i said why don't we cover some live news and they said why don't you cover it so i covered it and people started watching and then for various reasons it was just it was better for me to go off on my own because i started just doing only that for them so but it was just kind of accidental So I've been doing it myself since 2018. No videos today is here. Julio Limo says, don't worry about Brazilian politics. They have a lot of free time and do this kind of stupid things. Look, again, I'll keep up with the story. Um, 
Hey, Jake from State Farm. I'll, I'll keep up with the story. Uh, maybe if some more happens with it, we do a stream on it. It just wasn't really, I wasn't really feeling it. Also, um, uh, you know, tomorrow we're covering that we're going to have coverage, full coverage of the eclipse tomorrow. Um, we will be doing eclipse coverage. Uh, I should have footage from various locations of the eclipse. I think the partial eclipses start like close to one Eastern time. I'll probably get on the air around like noon, but the partial eclipses like in Mexico, which is where it starts, is I think a little before one Eastern time. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll try to get on like an hour beforehand or something. And then, you know, we'll, we'll show it during the afternoon. I know I'll have footage from Reuters. Uh, so we'll definitely be doing coverage of it tomorrow. So join us tomorrow for the, uh, join us tomorrow. Hey, Walter Beasley, so nice of you. People are being so generous tonight. Jeez. Thanks, Walter. I really appreciate that, Walter. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, I posted on the Agenda Free TV uh, X account tonight that we're covering it too. But we, we will be covering it tomorrow. Maybe I should post the event tonight. Sometimes I don't like posting the event early, too early because then people like get confused by the notification. Um, but I might post it. It's gonna, you know, again, I'll probably get on the air around like an hour before it all starts. So maybe like noon or if I can get on a little earlier. I mean, I don't want to go on like hours beforehand. Sandra is doing jury duty. She's going to try to watch the stream if they don't need her. Hey, thanks, Sandra Whale, and I appreciate that. And I know some of you are going to be there. Uh, some of you can see, are you going to be in the totality area? My, my, where I am, I'm not going to go, I'm going to be covering it. Uh, where I am, I could definitely see some of it. It's going to be partially covered here. But, um, but I, I want to cover it on, uh, on the air. So I'll be in my studio. Road Shamblin is here. So come by for the eclipse. Ah, oh, Janet Banks from Canada. So generous. Thanks, Janet. That's really nice of you. I really appreciate that, Janet. Thank you. Thanks for the support. Thanks also the Ringa X for becoming a member. Zanti Misfit is here. NAH. NAH says Western Washington State has 20% coverage of the eclipse. Kit Kat, I think you just posted a news story from like five days ago. Why is Kit Kat posting a news story from five days ago? Does anyone know? Um, oh, thanks so much to, uh, first of all, thanks Ruben Urban, who's moderating. Good to see you, Ruben. Ruben, what is going on with you? You're in Florida, right? I feel like you stop in and sometimes we don't get a chance to talk to you. What's happening with Ruben? And thanks to Jeffrey M as well. Yeah, Jeffrey, that was a long time ago. Way far ago, I wrote an episode of Sesame Street, but that was a different lifetime. That was a long, long time ago. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Jeffrey M., thank you. Um,
Oh my gosh, Marty Hagwood just gave 50 memberships. Gee, so generous everybody tonight. Unbelievable. Look at all these new members, thanks to Marty Hagwood. April Coco says we need to find that episode. I mean, I, by the time the kind of they get done with it and do it, you won't really see anything recognizably me that you wouldn't, I don't think that you wouldn't see in other episodes. It probably looks the same and sounds the same. Um, hey, look at all these new members we got. We got um, Ponyboy, Tracks and Relax, Liam Grogan, Lou Ann, Kit Kat, Brig Commander, Rebecca, all thanks to Marty, Stephanie, Canine Striker, Carrie, William Cromer, Marcel Kern. Hey, Marcel is here in Europe. I think Marcel's in Europe. Uh, Lisa Nora, Chris Wright. Hey, Chris Wright, a new member, thanks to Marty. All these new members. Wow. Wow. Ninja Mike. Susan, Sandra Whalen, Catherine of Sweden. Chips, CC Cat, Kalo Nord, Get Some Razzle Dazzle, Debbie Long, Seedla, NYC Urbanista, Eugene Beecher, all these new members via Marty, Foggy Brain, Kathy Calm, Michelle, Natalie LaRouche, Golbaki Superstar, Paul Truin, Michelle R., Dunbar Dan. Welcome, new members. Thanks, Marty. That's really nice of you. Uh, what did I just see here? Hang on a moment. Ugh. Kit Kat says, I thought I was watching live earthquake tracking. Yeah, that the, the, the Taiwan earthquake is days and days ago. So again, uh, join tomorrow for the eclipse. Maybe after this stream, I'll post, maybe after this stream, I'll post the eclipse Um, I'll post the event so people can like chat before we go live. The thing is, I don't know exactly when I'm going live yet. Well, I can post it and then I can always change the time if I have to. Maybe I'll post it for noon and then if I have to change it a little bit, I'll change it. But I'm looking forward to that. What I should do is I should, well, it's gonna be hard to do. While I'm covering it though, I can like, when, it, when the eclipse is where I am, I can like look out my window. I can't look, I don't wanna look directly at the sun, but I could look out the window and see it getting dark out. Tracks and Relax says we'll be outside of the eclipse starting around 1.30 p.m. Red Squirrel, man, I, I can't be your time zone calculator. Red Squirrel says, what time will it be UK time? You gotta just Google it. Come on, Red Squirrel. Yeah, Budget Girl, I'll probably post it after this. Yes, it is dangerous to look directly at the eclipse. That I know. Just Google that. You got to have, you can really hurt your eyes if you look at the eclipse. If you, you don't have the special glasses. Ruben, how is everything? How's things in Florida? Ruben Urban. So good to see Ruben. Um, Ruben is there in Florida. 
Ruben, you said last stream, I didn't see this. Ruben, you said cancer surgery. Was that about you or something else? I just saw that right now. Then previously you had said up in New York for a week and it was cold. Ruben says it's nice and hot there. Euro says without the glass, it's easy to damage your eyes or go blind. Eclipse safety, eclipse eye safety from NASA, except during the brief total phase of a total solar eclipse, when the moon completely blocks the sun's bright face, it is not safe to look directly at the sun without specialized eye protection. Viewing any part of the bright sun through a camera lens, binoculars, or telescope without a special purpose solar filter secured over the front of the optics will instantly cause severe eye injury. So don't look at it directly. Don't look at it through a camera lens, binoculars, or telescope. You need to have special equipment to do that. Glasses and, and or equipment, depending on what you're doing. You can, and there's also eye safety for partial and annual, annular total eclipses. Um, and it's, anyways, I'll, I'll post a link to this, but... You can read it yourself. I just posted the link. You can go to the NASA site and read it yourself. Uh, April Coco says, every eclipse people damage their eyes. It's scary. Uh, AJ says, could the eclipse damage your phone? I don't know about that. I don't know the details on that. Marquez Brownlee posted something about that. Oh, thanks, Red Squirrel. Red Squirrel says, sorry, I was being lazy. No problem. That's very nice of you, Red Squirrel. Thanks, Red Squirrel. Very kind of you. Thank you. Did Ruben reply? Uh... So Ruben has surgery on the 24th? Cancer surgery? That's not good, Ruben. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it goes well. That's in 17 days. Marquez Brownlee said, he's been talking about this on his X account. He's a tech expert. He had said on April 4th, I cannot for the life of me find a definitive answer as to whether or not pointing a smartphone at the solar eclipse will fry the sensor. Tempted to just take a phone I don't need and point it at the sun for five minutes to find out the real answer myself in the name of science. He said, just pointed my phone camera directly at the midday sun for five minutes straight. It got a little warm, but no damage. I'm going to go ahead and say, point your phones at the eclipse tomorrow. will be fine. So that's what he posted. I don't know anything about this. AJ says, okay, tool, cool, I won't try it, though. Randy Ter Terpstra says, in 2017, I took pictures of partial solar eclipse using eclipse glasses with no damage to optics of camera, no eye damage when viewing through screen on back of camera. So I, I, I'm going to defer to the experts on this. I posted the NASA, thanks, Randy. I posted the NASA link. Uh, you can do research if you want on various things, but do not look at it. Directly. Thanks, everybody, for wishing Ruben well in the chat.
Ruben has been with the channels for a long time. Ruben's one of the OGs here. Matt from Florida says, get well, Ruben. Euro Maestro says, very important not to do it with your phones unless you have ISO certified filters. I won't be trying anything like that. I won't be pointing my phone at it. Uh, Polly is here. Good to see you, Polly. Oh, Athletics is here. I didn't see Athletics before. Joanna 77 is here. Hey, Joanna, good to see you, Joanna 77. She's in Florida. She's normally in Florida. I don't know if she is right now. Ali Baba said... He knew someone as a kid that was hurt years and years ago. That's not good. Yvonne McMillan is here. Diane Dean says, pinhole viewer with two paper plates works great. One time in L.A. when there was, I think, a partial eclipse, but a significant eclipse, I think in L.A. what I did is I did the pinhole thing, where you cut like a pinhole and like a piece of cardboard or something, and you could actually see it projected on the ground. It was kind of neat. Foundation U says, looking forward to watching the replay of the Eclipse after work tomorrow. Thanks. Sorry you can't be there live, but glad you're going to be watching after. Riri Patton is here. Annie T said, I did the pinhole thing in 2027. Oh my gosh, thanks to Gordon Gott. Thanks, Gordon. You guys have been so generous tonight. Wow. Gordon says, I'm going to save my eyes and watch Steve AFTV. I will be there. Enzo, no. I don't think the world's going to end tomorrow. I will be there, Gordon. Yeah, the pinhole thing is kind of neat. If I remember right, you like punch a little hole in cardboard and then you actually see the image of the sun on like the ground and you see the crescent as... as it, it projects the sun's, the circle of the sun, and then you see the dark shadow go across it. Polly says, I have meetings, so can we postpone the eclipse? Yeah, there's a uh, how to make a pinhole camera on NASA site. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even do anything that complex. I basically put a, pe a hole in a piece of cardboard, I think, and I just did this. And then, then you look down there and you see you actually see the uh, the sun, you see the sun, and you see the um, the shadow creep across it. Philippe Lewis says most important now is seeing what the cloud cover will be for tomorrow. I actually, I uh, the National Weather Service posted something about that. 
Oh, I'll show you that in a second. Hey, Daniel Barberson. Wow, thanks, Daniel. Daniel says, looking forward to the eclipse tomorrow. That's so nice of you. Eclipse coverage tomorrow. Thanks, Daniel. It's really kind of you. Thank you. Wow, so generous of you guys. Jeez. Thank you. Um... Here is this National Weather Center thing. Um, why can't I see this here? Oh, let's do it this way. Wait. Why is this? Oh, well, I'll do it this way. Open image in new tab. There. There it is. Um, oh, thanks to Desi Des. Thank you, Desi Des, for a donation again. Thank you, Desi. So nice of you, Desi. Thank you. Desi Des. Oh, also, I missed some gift memberships. Oh, my gosh. I missed gift memberships. When did that happen? Red Squirrel, I missed your gift memberships. When did that happen? Did I just miss it? Red Squirrel gave a bunch of gift memberships. Oh, I can see them now. Some of them. Hold on. I thought I could. I think I missed it before, Red Squirrel. I'm sorry about that. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Lori Murphy got one, William Cromer, J.K. Senar, Diane Dean, Riri Patton, Pink, Randy Terpstra, Brad, Snow Fairy Wings, and Leia S. all got gift memberships from Red Squirrel. It's very nice of you. So this says, uh, this is from the NWS. It says, Clouds may impede viewing from Texas into southern Arkansas and across Ohio, northwest Pennsylvania, and New York. The best chances for clear viewing are most likely across New England. This is just for the U.S. You can also watch it in Canada and Mexico in some places. Uh, also uh, possible clear viewing from northern Arkansas to central Indiana, but this is in a greater area of, area of greater uncertainty. Thanks, the Ring X. The Ring X says the FBI has warned via Homeland Security gatherings. I haven't heard any kind of like huge alert for people on that. So I haven't heard anything bing about that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep their eye on it, the Ringa. But I just want to be clear here. Thank you, the Ring X. I appreciate that, by the way. Um, but I haven't heard that there's any kind of like report of like intelligence that somebody's plotting something or something like that. I guess maybe I'm looking, I don't, I can't find the story, but some people are saying stuff like the FBI, like maybe listed, came out with some alert, not specifically related to the eclipse after, maybe after the Moscow attack or something. I don't know, but I want to be careful about this stuff.
Um, Zanti says the eclipse will drive the birds crazy. Uh, Jake says we have the cicada invasion happening too shortly after the eclipse. Are you getting them there? No videos today. That's a bucket hat back there. It's called a bucket hat. Patrick Ryan, make sure a welding shield. I don't know if a welding shield is acceptable protection for the eclipse. I don't know. I would make sure. Look it up. Swift Justice is here. I read an interesting article. Hey, Darth Tater is here. Hey, Darth. Good to see you. I read an interesting article in The Economist about Airbnbs. And what The Economist said is they thought that people who had Airbnbs, basically a, a lot of the Airbnbs have been booked in areas in the totality where you can, where you can see the full eclipse. And what they were saying is they think people could have raised their prices more. And that the, 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 what the article was arguing was that a lot of money was left on the table by people who have Airbnbs because they didn't realize what the demand would be. And so especially like early on, like, you know, maybe weeks or months ago, they weren't right. They were they were they weren't really raising their prices for this weekend or, or for Monday, you know, and they could have. That was the argument that the economists made. Because, because now maybe now Gen 5, 207 Gen 5 says they're expensive now, but the point the economist was making is a lot of them are booked already. And so if you had an Airbnb in this area, if you were thinking way in advance, you could have set it so that even if somebody wanted to book it six months ago, they would have to pay, pay a higher rate. Um, 207 Genfa says they've been booked, booked since last fall. So, you know, again, the point that Economist was making is they thought that people did not anticipate the demand. And so they allowed their Airbnb to be booked for like a normal rate instead of bumping the price up. That was what The Economist said. Yeah, if you want to read it, go to The Economist and look it up. Look up uh, the name of the article is Airbnb bookings for the solar eclipse reach astronomical levels. And one of the things they said was uh, few Airbnb, Airbnb hosts run their properties with a hotel manager's business acumen. Uh, in cities like Dallas and Niagara Falls, the majority of reservations were made more than two months ago, far earlier than is typical. Uh, savvy guests pounced on the standard prices on offer before hosts realized that they could raise them and still secure bookings. That's what the ar ar article argues. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. Uh, thank you, Joan Rosary. Just, sorry, Joan Rosary. Well, I don't know if it's Joan Rosary. Or I think it's Joan Rosaire. There's a world in which it's Joan Rosary or something, but I think it's Joan Rosaire. Thank you, Joan, for the gift memberships. More gift memberships. Oh my gosh. Look at all these new members like Swift Justice, Flagler Ghost Girl, Boss Man, Rune, Tom, Tim Drink to That, Federal Jack Tube, Michelle B, Annalisa, Charlie Charnock, Beaker McGillicuddy, Terry Workman, Texas Annie, Vonta Blue, Paul M, Harpy Maple, Tim Peterson, Cheatham. Teresa Campbell, Sharp Lisa, Matthew DeGeorge, they all got free memberships thanks to Joan. That's really nice of you, Joan. Thank you. Wow. People being extremely nice tonight. Very nice of you.
Yeah, I'm hoping we have some good footage. I, I think I'm supposed to have footage from like different countries tomorrow. Darth says, hold on a second here, what is this? Uh, Darth said that Cleveland, can't find it now. We're right in a prime location for seeing the eclipse in Ohio tomorrow near Cleveland, says Darth. I think my area is like 90% or something. It's just, I'm not gonna be looking up at it. I had a chart, I can't find it, I'll have to try to find it. I had a chart that said, um, that, that was like a map that listed what part of the country. Had what percentage of the eclipse you could see. By the way, NASA says, can I, put, can I photograph the eclipse with my smartphone? Yes, but you need to have the specialized eclipse filter between your camera and the sun, said NASA. But don't look at it. I'll post this link too. They have a bunch of questions there. The dude says the map was on the Weather Channel. Um, I had it somewhere. I don't know if I wrote it down. Lynn Powell says the 2017 one was here was cool. I'm probably just gonna watch this one from inside. I don't know why I thought that uh, maybe NASA had that map, but I don't see that map on NASA. I see some other stuff there. Chucky Schicklitz says CNN has a map. Uh, I have that map, one up here. Where's the one? Oh, here's one from the New York Times. Well, it's kind of hard to see that one. That's not great.
I can't find it right this second. It's floating around out there. Uh, you can find a map that shows like what percent of totality is each area is in. Uh, let's see here. Paula says, I only have mid 60s to about 70% visibility in my area of Florida. Philip Bernier, who says Wolf Nev is streaming all day tomorrow along with any others. Yeah, I'm guessing there'll be all kinds of live streamers out there streaming. I'll have a bunch of different streams that I can show you. Biggie Smallpox says I'm fairly close to the area in southern Oklahoma. They're forecasting bad storms sometime that afternoon, this Saturday afternoon. So hopefully everyone traveling this way is prepared. Ha ha. Sue Moreno is here. Yeah, if somebody has the, the link to the map, you can send it to me on, on X, which is at Lookner on X. It's not a huge deal, but I just wanted to maybe let people have the link. HC says next 100% eclipse here in Creedon will be 2144. The next total eclipse in the lower 48 states of the U.S. will be 2044. Thanks for mining, by the way. AJ and K Body and uh, J A and P, Ruben Urban, AJ, Linda Belk, BZ, Raven Riley. Um, also, Sarah's been modding. Over on X, David Green, Big Ball of Yarn, Bastion Girl, thank you so much. Uh, Dancing in the Sand is here. Science.NASA has the eclipsed exclusive horror. Yeah, they have some great stuff on the NASA site. Um, L421 is here. This fake username is here. Cherry Cola is here. Lego Coin is here. Lego coins says Airbnb and has been canceling getting new desk guests. Can they really do that in order to charge more? Is that true? I would think that I would think that if you were a host and you canceled to charge more, then you could get in trouble with Airbnb. I don't know for a fact, but I don't know enough about it. Glentech says, hey, Glentech, good to see you. Psy W54 is here. Again, I think the first partial eclipse in Mexico is shortly before 1 Eastern. Uh, Fern is here. Uh, Ronald Kame is here, I believe. Oh, thanks, J-A-N-P. Wow, made a donation. J-A-P says, there's been some speculation that the major weather phenomena has been caused by the eclipse and the science community is looking into this such. Um, as far as I'm aware, John, uh, like the earthquake stuff has nothing to do with the eclipse. But I believe a scientist I follow posted about that. But I don't know if you're talking about that. But just to clarify that, here, look. Uh, the 
The results of several studies of a relation, the relationship between earthquakes and tides are inconclusive, according to a geophysicist, Seth Stein, at Northwestern University. If there's any effect, it would be incredibly weak. So people are wondering about, I guess, what is it? With the total solar eclipse set to be on Monday, says the New York Times, uh, It's, the article is a little confusing. I think they're talking about maybe the New York earthquake or something, but the eclipse wasn't even on that day. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, it says, was today's earthquake connected to the solar eclipse? The tidal forces on Earth grow as the sun, moon, and Earth begin to align a configuration that can lead to a solar eclipse, solar, solar eclipse, but the results of several studies of the relationship between earthquakes and tides are inconclusive. So I guess the idea is like they're saying, well, in theory, the alignment of planets that leads to, that increases the possibility of an eclipse could possibly affect tides more which possibly could have some impact on earthquakes or something. Tides stretch and squish the land on Earth just as much as, just as they contribute to waves in the ocean. And those tidal forces grow as, as the soon, as, as grow as the sun, moon, and Earth begin to align, a configuration that sometimes creates an eclipse. Anyways, I'm not worrying about this right now. Thank you, John. I'll post a link to the article if you want to read it. It might be paywalled, though. So, but. Here, look. This is um, Paul Earl of the United States U.S. Geological Survey said... With earthquakes of this size, like the 4.8 in New Jersey, there is no correlation to celestial bodies, he said. It's unrelated to the solar eclipse. I think the other article in the New York Times was like just suggesting, well, in theory, there could be maybe some connection between the planet, the alignment of bodies that contributes to an eclipse and some sort of earthquake activity, but that scientist from the USGS was pretty categorical in saying no. That size earthquake was not caused by the eclipse. Um, also here, look at this. Uh, Business Insider, Monday solar eclipse had nothing to do with the earthquake that rocked the East Coast today. Uh, Business Insider, um, According to the U.S. Geological Survey, Monday solar eclipse didn't significantly affect Friday's earthquake. Here, I'll post that article too. If you want to read about that, you can see it. Jimmy ZNJ is here. Hello, Jimmy. Okay. We'll be covering it tomorrow. April said the article sounded bogus. What, the New York Times one? Polly says you should do the Mexico coverage in Spanish to show off your kills. Skills. I'm not ready. I'm not ready uh, yet. Pat Bev Street Guy is here. Probably around noon tomorrow is when I'll start covering it. Uh, hang on one moment here. You know what I need, guys? You know what I need to do? We've got a bunch of things to talk about. I need, you need to behave, because I need to take a one minute break. So let's see if you can behave yourself in the chat for one minute. Behave yourselves, guys. Behave yourselves for one minute in the chat. I'll be right back.
I bet people, I bet people aren't behaving anymore. I bet I'm going to, I bet if I check the chat, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, ooh, I didn't zip up. <laughs> Uh-oh, I just scanned a lot. I think I broke terms of service by coming in with my fly down, but I don't think anybody saw it. Um, so, uh, the, uh, uh, let's see what people are saying in the chat. You know what? I go away and people do crazy things. No. Oh. Cynthia said when he comes back, nobody posed for five minutes. Barb says we behaved. Patty says you mad. Uh, Casper one one two seven oh seven six is here on Twitch. Delirious is here on Twitch. Legion fifty four is here on Twitch. Kevster is here on Twitch. Cyberdecker is here. Oh, so I want to talk about a couple other things. Right, we talked. We I missed a donation. Did I? Uh oh. Oh, Red Squirrel made a donation. Hey, thanks for letting me know. Red Squirrel says you have the best news channel. Thank you, Red Squirrel. Red Squirrel says you always try to be fair and balanced. You know, I do try. And shout out to the mods. Thanks for shouting at the mods. Thank you, Red Squirrel, for your very nice note and donation. It's really nice of you. Yeah, I try to be fair and balanced, but I still get people sometimes on social media writing to me and telling me how biased they are. I had that recently, a viewer writing to me and telling me how biased I was. Ava Sean is here, going to an Orioles game. Nice. Uh, thank you, Red Squirrel. That was really kind of you. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. You guys have been so nice tonight. Uh, thank you. It's really nice of you guys. Apex Strategist is here. Um, hey, uh, did anyone watch the women's basketball game today? Because that was a, was a good game. I know a lot of people watch that game. <laughs> I think tens of millions of people watch that game. It was a good game, though. I watched it at my mom's house. Uh, Kay is not happy. You know what? I really think Iowa did great with what they had. I mean, they're a great team. It's just South Carolina was like, they're just bigger. <laughs> they're so good. They're bigger and they're deeper. They have more players they can play during the game, and they're taller. Um, and I thought, actually, Iowa did a great job staying close. Joe thinks they ran out of energy. You know, it's, it's, it was going to be very tough for Iowa to win that game. But it was Angelina Knox has a great game. It was close. Uh, it was entertaining. Uh, it's going to get a huge rating. It's going to be insane. I mean, the previous game, their previous game, uh, I posted about this. I, well, I reposted somebody about this. The previous game got such high ratings. Look, the previous game, not this game, the previous game, as Richard Deitch said, uh, had more viewers than every World Series game last year and every NBA Finals game last year. And all but five college football games last year. It's crazy. That was the semifinal game, not even the final game.
Yeah, my mom likes sports. So we watched it there. But I think a lot of people watched it who normally don't. I think a lot of people watched it who normally don't watch sports or women's basketball. Like when you have that many people watching it, I think a lot of casual fans or casual or even non-fans watched it. Uh, J A and P, thank you, J A and P. Another donation. J A and P rep recommended uh, PBS Nova Great American Eclipse Eclipse Explainer. Oh, did Nova do a broadcast on it? I can't show their broadcast, but that's what J A and P recommends, by the way. Oh, Eddie Smith is here. Hey, Eddie, how are you? Good to see Eddie Smith. What's the latest, Eddie? Yeah, Nova. You can watch it on Nova PBS Official. Great American Eclipse documentary. Uh, John recommends that. Thank you, J-A-N-P. So nice of you. Hot Pink 90 Sun is here. Hot Pink 90 Sun, you made a donation during a stream like a couple weeks ago, and I thought it was like, Somebody was doing it as like a joke, but it was not. Then I then I realized it wasn't. So thank you. Uh, Cruella is here. Eddie, what is the latest? Brandon Johnson says I love sports, but I have never watched as much women's basketball as I have the last few days. Tape brother is here. The game was the women's college basketball final. It was like this cultural phenomenon. April was watching the chess candidates tournament. It's weird though, I mean, I hope for women's basketball they get more viewers and they are getting more viewers than they used to. I do think part I do think it's they're not going to get the same viewership next year just cuz Caitlin Clark herself was drawing in so many people. But hopefully they continue improving their viewership. I like watching it. Susan says, I see major endorsements out of this. I mean, Caitlin Clark is already in like State Farm commercials. She's in a number of commercials. Okay, I wanted to mention I wanted to mention, oops. Oh, look what I, guess what I found. The Ringa says it would, she was offered 10 million to play at Barstool. It would take her 137 years to earn that much in the NBA. First of all, well, but the thing is she'll be getting endorsements and stuff. You know, I saw she was offered like five million to play in some three on three league. She doesn't want to do that. She wants to play like basketball with the best women out there. That's not what I'm sure she wants to do. Will WNBA become bigger, big now? I mean, it's become bigger. It's certainly not as big as college basketball is. Polly says, Caitlin Clark is on my TV right now during a commercial in the Sixers game. Kay says that has been her dream. Chris Graffs is here. Oregon guy watched the Grand Prix from Japan. That was early this morning, right? Hey, I found something, guys. Guys, I found something. I have an update for you guys. I found something. Can you guess what I found? Can you guess what I found? Mm. 
Ronald is watching in Dallas tomorrow the eclipse, but it's supposed to be cloudy there. The Ringus says Indiana Fever tickets are through the roof because they have her, they're going to pick her. The USA Today said. Uh, Yeah, they're going to draft her. I don't know if they sell season tickets, the Indiana Fever. Oh, look, on three. Indiana Fever, double season ticket price since Caitlin Clark declared for WNBA draft. Vivid Seats said the average ticket price to see the fever doubled from 60 to 140 next year. Anyways, that's from On3. You can read about that at On3. Uh, let's see. Did I find Jake from State Farm? Jake was here before. Uh, Daryl got it. Yeah, some of you guys got it. Some of you guys got it. I found it. I had put it away. It's here. It's still here. This is from years ago, but I don't have, I got to put it up. Uh, I'm going to put it up on the, uh, on, on the, uh, on the, on the, up there, but I need to get, uh, I have to buy a, a holder now. I want to get like an actual, Holder. I guess I could put a couple books behind it. That seems kind of lame. Should I just grab a couple books for the time being? <laughs> they got to be big books. I think I want to get like a, yeah, maybe I'll go grab a couple books. Actually, this might work. I have this, well, where is a, hang on. Give me, give me a second. I'll go grab a couple books. We'll do, we'll do, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it up. But I gotta get a stand for it. Well, before I do that, yeah, we looked. We looked for. We looked for like a stand. It was kind of hard to find like a good stand. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a stand. The problem with I don't want to leave it leaning up there on some books, and then then the problem is it can fall off. You know. I don't want that to happen. I don't want it to fall off. You know, it slides off, then it slides in and it breaks. I'm not going to get the books. I said to myself, I'm going to get a stand. We, we looked at this. I mean, they have like these things. I mean, we, I don't want to spend a million years looking at this. But they sell this kind of stuff. I just have to figure out which one to get. Um, the thing is, I think I want to get like a clear one, I think. You know, like there's this thing. There's stuff like this. But, but you got to get one. See, this might be too small. So my, my thing is, my, my plaque is big. Like that's, that, that I think, oh, they sell different size. Six inch? For displaying six inch stand. The problem is mine's bigger than six inches. Oh, there's like this stuff. Look at this one. Look at this thing. Like this. Ooh, they have display stand. That's interesting. 
something like this is something like this would work. Display stand holder ta tablet holder. How tall is this? I don't know how big it is. Four by four by six. I don't know that that's big enough. Total height, 5.3 inches. Well, but it's, I think it's six inches long, but I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Don't make me time people out, guys. Don't make me time people out. How tall is this one? Let me measure this. The, the plaque is like a foot tall. Oops. So, I don't know if, if the six inch one is, uh, is gonna be okay for a foot tall plaque. The, and also the width of this is four inches, but the plaque is like 10 inches wide. I know it doesn't have to be as, as totally as big as it, but, I don't know if I mean here's like a picture somebody posted. Sorry. Randy thinks it should be should be okay. I'm get, I wonder if somebody sells a bigger display stand. You can build one. I don't really want to build one. Oh. Um, see, they have this, but that's like a sign holder. And they have these, which are a good size, but they're not, they're like straight up and down. They're st I don't want straight up and down. I need to have slightly, slightly, uh, you know, diagonal. It's weird. Oh, this is one. But see, this says, no, this, this won't work. See, that is for eight and a half by 11, which would be great, but it's like a table menu display holder. So it would probably slide off the front. Chris Graff says YouTube should have sent a, sta should have sent a stand. I'm surprised this isn't easier to find. I mean, people do have plaques. It's a pretty common thing, I think, for somebody to have a plaque. So I'm surprised there aren't like more just hold. I mean, maybe people, maybe people actually just put them on the wall. That might be what people do. No, there, there is not a stand on the back of it, I don't think. No. There's no stand on the back. There's, there's, there's like a couple hooks on the back. There's a couple little openings where you can put hooks through them. Um, that's how I had it before, is I had it on the wall.
But I, I could put, I mean, if, it wouldn't be a problem for me to put it on the wall, but I don't want it on the wall. I want it on the, on the shelf. Somebody said book holder. How about a book display holder? <sighs> yeah, that's the problem. It's, I'm getting the same kind of things. They're all too small. It's weird. I, I think it's weird. I think it's weird that it's not it's so hard to find something. Honestly. I guess people aren't posting, don't usually have plaques that are this big. This is one, I mean, this is something here. Just, it says eight and a half by 11. I don't necessarily want to get this, but this is one where it's a little bigger. Oh, you know, I do have, it won't fit in there, I don't think. I actually have something. I have... I don't know that it'll fit in there. I own a, from when I was in grad school, I own a book holder, which is this contraption. It's made out of wood and it allows you to put your books on it. And so you don't have to like, hold the book in front of you or bend over and read it. It's actually something I used a bunch. I do have it, but it's kind of tall. I don't know that it'll fit in there. I think the book's gonna be, I think it'll, it'll hold the plaque too high. That's what I think will happen. Yeah, uh, Alibaba says I made I made wood book holders. That that's what it was. It was like a wood. It's like a I have one, but it's it's just big. I I don't think it's gonna fit under there, the way I want it to. Hey, Joe South Oz is here. It's pretty big. Yeah, you can adjust the shelf height, but the overall thing is pretty big. Um, where did I find it, Mark French? I found it uh, downstairs in the basement. I had it in this pla plastic uh, storage container where I thought it might be. I just hadn't bothered looking in there. They sell custom-made YouTube plaque stands on Etsy. I feel like it'll be too expensive for what I want to pay for it. <laughs> I'll have to look into it, guys. I'll have to look into it. I'm disappointed with the selection uh, out there. Red Squirrel says it really should have come with a stand. I mean, there's a world in which maybe it did and I threw it out, but I don't remember it having a stand. Cesar says, any breaking news? This is not the news channel, Cesar. If there's breaking news, I'll go on Agenda Free TV. Good to see you though, Cesar Hernandez. Chris Hodgins stopped by too. People are mentioning cookbook stands. I don't know. I don't love that. I don't love the wood thing like this. Then you have the wood arms over it, which I don't think looks good. But maybe one of these will work. 
it's not a bad some of the one of these might work the cookbook stand thing i don't know some of them are kind of expensive for 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 what it is you know you know this kind of thing here i don't think i want a red one but oh, they sell black ones that's interesting but i don't know portable sturdy book stands Something like that might work. See this thing? What's the height? It's it's uh, seven and a half inches high, it says. It's probably enough. And 7.8 inches wide. Will it will, will the plaque fit on the front though? I don't know that the plaque will fit on the front. I have no idea. It's kind of confusing with the front. I guess it does. I don't know how much space there is for the front of the plaque, though. I'd like a clear one. I don't find it. I, I Beggars cannot be choosers. Anyways. I got to just look into it. I don't want to spend an hour on the stream looking into it. Build it yourself. So what am I going to do? I'm going to I'm going to get some acrylic here. I'm going to start cutting acrylic in my place. <laughs> Bob, I don't think that's happening anytime, anytime soon. Guys, I'm guy. Hey, hey, you, you got to follow Agenda Free TV because people are saying cover the eclipse. Aside from the fact that I already said on the stream I'm covering the eclipse, look, guys, look, Agenda Free TV on X. Look, look, we will be covering the eclipse tomorrow with live video of the eclipse from various locations. Here is the Agenda Free TV X account for future reference. Thanks, Cesar, for subscribing. So check the X account. John says thank you. Stick on easel back, but does it? If you stick on an easel back, does it stick on? What if I don't want it to keep sticking on? Also, the back of it is like felt. The back of it is felt, guys. Cardboard easels. They have these cardboard things. Was there a fake Linda Belk? Was that what happened? Fake Linda Belk? Or no? What happened there? That must have been what happened, right? Because Linda Bell, the actual Linda Belk is a uh, actual Linda Belk is um, a moderator. Yeah, we had fake Linda Belk came by, guys. <laughs> oh, thanks, Paul G. Uh, Paul G is the one who told us to try this hat out. 
So I kept it over there, Paul. Somebody else liked it too. Somebody else complimented it too, Paul G. Thank you, Paul G. It's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Paul G, thank you. Thanks for the donation. Very nice of Paul G. Um, Casper wants me to do it with Legos. Sai says, I'm scared of the eclipse tomorrow. Yeah, I don't really want to put it on books because I worry that if I put it on books, it'll just kind of fall off. I'm going to wait to put it up until I have something more proper to put it up on. I should go get my... I should go get my book holder and see if that'll work. The book holder is such so big, though. I don't want to. Do I really want a giant book holder? I'll, maybe I can show you what it looks like. MD is here. It's like, it's something like this. No, it's not, it's not like that. I can't remember what it was. Book stand is what it was, a book stand. But I bought it from some company that like specialized in book stands. I used it for years. I used to use it in grad school. Yeah, I'll go. I'm gonna go get the book stand. Let me go get the book stand, and I'll, I'll bring it down, and we can, um, and we can, uh, we can try it out. All right, I'm gonna go get the book stand. All right, hold on. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm coming back in one minute. Let me get this up. I'll be right back.
Oh, hello. This may work. This may work. I got my, my, my book stand, my Atlas book stand. Wonder if there's a link to this online. I'm sort of sad because I remember when I used to go to grad school and read all these books. And uh, I don't, I mean, I, I get to read a lot for work, but it's more new stuff. So I, I miss reading my philosophy books and my other books. Atlas Bookstand. Is this it? They, I don't even know if they make it anymore. No, that's not it. The company might be out of business. I got this like 10 years ago. I don't even see their, uh, their website anymore. Anyways, the company was called Atlas Stands. Uh, look, there it is. And I can, there's the book stand. And you have, a, it comes with this shelf that you move up and down. And I can put this down here. And then it also comes with a thing that you put on the back to keep it from topping, tipping over, I think. Uh, now I need to, I need to, I need to fix it, fit it on the shelf. That's too high. See, this is going to be the problem. I was worried about this. Uh, that won't fit. So if I lean it back, will it still, will, will it be too far back? Yeah, it's gonna, that's tough. That's not really gonna work. <laughs> See, this thing, I can't put it on here because it's gonna be too high up, I think. I mean, it's, it should be lower, that's the problem. <laughs> So I can lean it against it, but then there's nothing keeping it. See, that doesn't really work because it's too, it's, I can't lower the bottom shelf. I'll leave it there for now. Yeah, that thing, yeah, Sarah says it's so big. But, the, but this, this thing here, For the moment, I could try doing I, I, that. This makes me nervous, leaving it like that. I could hope it stands up. It could slide off like that, though. I'm like hoping it doesn't slide off and break. There is some glare on it. I, I can't avoid a certain amount of glare because it, it's just going to reflect the lights. It's going to reflect the light. I'm not raising the shelves. We don't need to raise or lower the shelf height. Don't need to do that. Hey, Zaishi. Oh, it's reflecting, no, it's reflecting the light. It's not reflecting, uh, there's a world in which I can get to not reflect one of the lights. No, it's, it's just going to keep reflecting the, uh, my, the, the, the studio lights is what it's reflecting. That's the problem. So that's going to be unavoidable because it has mirrors on it. It's a little better. It's, no, it's non-ideal. I like, I like where it is. I, 
I also don't know if it's more straight up like this. Is it going to reflect? See, that's better, but I have no way of getting it up that much. Can I get it up a little more closer? And that may have done it. I might just have enough clearance there. <laughs> yeah, it, that's, it, it's, it's barely clearing there. So I think for now I can leave it like that. <laughs> it sort of is what it is. I just, I get nervous that uh, it could fall off. That's my problem. It could fall off. It could slide off. But for the moment, I need to uh, look into getting a stand, a proper stand, so it doesn't fall off. I like having it there, though. Yeah, the reason you're seeing the, the, those streaks on it is because there's lights under the shelf. Get rubber adhesive dots and stick them on the wood in front of the plaque. I actually do have rubber adhesive dots. You know that I do have them. But I don't know if I'm going with this right now. I mean, for, for permanent, I don't want to stick them on the plaque, the bookshelf, and then take, take them off. It's possible that still getting the reflection. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about the, the with the lights like that. Well, I'll leave it there for now. I'm just nervous about it falling off. I need to get a, a different stand. Somebody said I could cover the lights in theory, although then it's not lit as well. I mean, the, refl the reflection isn't terrible, I don't think. I don't think it's terrible. For now, it's fine. I like having something there, though. It's good that it's there. It's good. It should be there. Some people like it. They like the way it looks. We'll just leave it. Leave it and leave it and hope it doesn't fall off. Cyberdecker, you will come back. Cyberdecker, you just got timed out for 24 hours, Cyberdecker. You can come back tomorrow, Cyberdecker, but we don't allow that here. So you got the 20, Cyberdecker got the 24 hour timeout. You know what? I'll be generous. I'll make it a half hour timeout. Half hour timeout for Cyberdecker. Next time it'll just be a ban.
Sarah says I'm too nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the way it looks there. I'm just the only, my only worry is it falling off. That's the worry. I could put the rubber things on it, but I don't know if the rubber things will really stop it if it if it's seriously falling off. Hey, Zombie 3. Anyways, I think it's cool that it's there. I think it looks better with it than without it. Oh, Velcro. Somebody said I should... But then I got to stick Velcro on the back of it and stick Velcro. <laughs> I got to stick Velcro on the back of it and then stick Velcro on the... Uh... And then stick Velcro on the on the actual thing, on the, on the book holder. Um... I could do. Are you seeing the whole thing? Another thing I could do is, hold on, you're seeing, yeah, you see the whole thing. I was going to say, if you couldn't see the stop, I could, I could stick a rubber band around the whole thing. Sarcasm is here. Uh, let's see. Hang on, I wanted to... Show you guys something. See, look, now look, look at what it looked like without it. Look at it, look, it's so, it's like, now it looks like such a glaring hole. Now that we have it there. Look, that's before and that's after. I mean, it really does make a difference, doesn't it? Look at this. It makes such a big difference. The plaque has been here for years. I've had the plaque for years. It just, I hadn't had it, I haven't had it mounted in like two years, two or three years. Cesar says I should put one of the mugs back there. Maybe one day I will. Thanks, zombie. Uh, fierce warriors here. No, that's not for Lookner. Although, you know, we, we did get 25,000 subscribers on Lookner, but I think a lot of them are early subscribers. Sarah says, aesthetically, the shelf it sits on really isn't tall enough. It looks fine to me, honestly. Hey, Rick Hoppy came by. Good to see you, Rick. Akamo says it looks fine. I agree with you, Akamo. Thanks for being a subscriber, by the way, Akamo. Okay, so we got that temporarily done. It's temporarily done. The one thing that I like, I mean, one thing I do like about that stand is it's not blocked in the front. I, I don't think you want a stand that's blocking it in the front. That's a problem. You know, I could just, what I should do, I probably, I have some of those little plastic feet things I could just put a couple plastic feet here and here. 
just in the hope that if it slid, it would hold. You know, I probably should go grab a couple of the little plastic feet and do that. Then I wouldn't worry about it. Marty Hagwood says, I'm not opposed to growth in this channel, but we have a really good community here. I agree. Yeah, they, they give you one of those if you have 100,000 followers. <laughs> and then for the people who get a million, they give them one. But there's nothing in between. Yeah, I think I'm going to go grab a couple of those feet things and, and come back and put them on. Then I'll feel better about it. All right, hang on. I'll, give me one minute. I'm just going to grab the, the, the little plastic feet sticker things from upstairs. Hold on. One moment here. Behave yourselves. Where did the text thing go? All right, we're back. I have these little feet, plastic, rubber, not plastic, rubber things. So I'll just put a couple on there in the hope that it might help if it falls off. Okay, I'm putting two of the little rubber things there. Hopefully that holds it if it slides down. I have no I have no idea if it will. But at least now if it slides uh, it's something there's something to hold it. Rick says, as the official arbiter of aesthetics on the channel, I approve of the, of the shelf plaque proportions. Thank you, Rick. I can put one in the middle there, too. I probably should. I'm going to put one more on there. Craig Needell says, no more earthquakes on on the East Coast, or it could slide down. I'm just putting the other, the other, the other little foot thing on. Cool. All right, well, we'll leave it for now. At least it's up. At least we have it up. I feel like we should have had it up. So the funny thing, what people are going to say is they'll say, you're misrepresenting the channel because you're acting like the plaque is for this channel, not your other channel. It's not for this channel. Uh, hold on a second here. I missed... Red Squirrel gave five more memberships. Thanks, Red Squirrel. So nice of you. Guys, Red Squirrel just gave a bunch of you memberships. To uh, Red, Secret Squirrel, to Secret Squirrel, Flips, Randy S., Tom, Mike Rusakis, and Pam Turner all got memberships. I have the sign. We're just not using it at the moment. The sign will come back with the letters on it. It's not always up.
It does, it does look fine there, though. But it is, again, much better, much better without, without it. Much better with it than without it. Oh my gosh, Joe South Oz just gave gift memberships to Cynthia, Zombies3, Matt from Florida, Sandra Whalen, D Fox, Yaya, Jay Wright, J Dub51, Small Town Girl, and, and uh, Marzell and Carrie Bear. All got gift memberships from Joe South Oz. Thank you so much, Joe South Oz. So nice of you. Thank you. Wow. People really generous tonight. Crazy. Thanks, guys. That's really nice of you. All right, so again, remember, we are doing, I will be doing the eclipse. I will be covering the eclipse starting, I think, around noon. There's a chance I can get on a little earlier, but I will, I'll be getting on before the eclipse, but... I think our coverage will start around noon on Agenda Free TV. Desi Des says it's the excitement of the eclipse that Pete Baker, Pete Baker are making, making people so nice. She's joking. Uh, thanks, Matt. Matt from Florida. Glad you like AFTV. East Coast time, Pony Boy. East Coast time. Uh, K-9 Striker says, I'll send you a picture of it on X from the horse farm. Thank you. Susan, at one point we were talking about having a neon sign, but not at the moment. Uh, let's see here. What else did I want to mention? Hey, you've seen this here. Over on Twitch. Ruby Sandwich is here. Ellie Lassetti is here. Cherry Cola is here. Hans Niskatuki is here over on Twitch. Um, okay, so I also wanted to mention, so I'm glad we could, hey, you know that plaque has been a long time coming. Oh, I figured out, I think, a solution for this mic issue. This microphone is sitting on a stack of books. If you missed it last time, the microphone I was using, I think, is dead. It's like seven years old. This is a backup mic I had. But it sounds much better when it's closer to me. And even if I replace it, I want it to be closer to me. And so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get a microphone arm when I get, when I get back from the trip. When I get back from the trip. Um, and, uh, the microphone arm, I, I, I did some research and the arm is, there's this thing, which is a low profile Elgato wave mic arm, low profile. So the idea is this will hold the microphone. See that picture right there? You can actually put the arm like in front under the monitor. So the idea is it's an arm that you can use to put the mic up to your face, but it won't be that in the way of the shot. And in theory, what I would like to try to do is put it under the monitor in front of me. So you would just see it coming. So I don't know how it'll look, but I'm, I think it's going to be this one uh, when I actually get back. Because I can't have this, another, what I want to do is not have the microphone on books and not have the microphone on the desk so I can finally have, I want to have my keyboard right in front of me. But I can't have my keyboard right in front of me if the mic's there. And right now this mic is on a stack of books, which is really annoying. You can't see the books, but I can. If I want to type, I got to go like this. So this is a temporary microphone position. Uh, also, this microphone is not even as close to my face as it could be. Um, so I'm going to, uh, when I get back into town, order that. 
but not yet because I don't want it to get here yet. And I'll, I'll post a link to it. It's got good reviews too. Elgato Wave Mic Arm. I think that's the one. Low profile mic arm. Yeah. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. So we'll do a stream when I get back, we'll do a stream where we set up the arm and hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. I don't know. I'm hoping it works out all right. I think it's going to, but we need it. The, the reason I didn't have an arm before is because I used to do these streams not in a studio at my regular desk, and I didn't want to have a big arm on my desk. But now that I have a studio, I would like to get the arm in here. So that is what I, but I don't want one of those giant ones. Get the giant ones, and then, then you have this big thing. If you, have, if you have a giant one, you get a big thing like in your shot. Oh my gosh, Marty made a very generous donation. Wow. Thank you, Marty. Marty, you already made a generous donation of memberships tonight. Made a donation and said, use this for the mic arm. Marty, I, that's really generous of you. I will put it towards the mic arm. Thank you, Marty. It's very kind of you. Very kind of Marty. There you go. How generous is that of Marty? Wow. Thanks, Marty. I, I will do that. I'm going to buy it when I get back. Marty just uh, bought, bought a mic for the channel. Thanks, Marty. That's really nice of you. Thank you, Marty. Very, very generous of Marty. Wow. Thank you. So kind. Call it the Marty mic arm, says Bob Messina. Well, there you go. That's what I'm going to I'm going to do that then. <laughs> Same mic. Thanks, Marty. Really nice of you. Really, really nice of you. I appreciate that. So nice of Marty. By the way, I thought the black one would look better. The white, I think, is for like if you have a white microphone, maybe in a white table, but I don't. So I just thought the black would call less attention to itself. I don't know if I want a big white arm sticking out here. I thought the black would just kind of... I know I'm wearing black right now, but the mic is black. So I just figured... Tell, tell me if I'm wrong, but I just figured the, the black will be, I, I don't want to be intrusive. I want it, I don't want to call attention to the arm. Stephen Beal and Desi like black better. Daniel likes black better. Beezy likes black better. So yes, so there you go. People are agreeing. Everyone's saying they like the black one better. I mean, I could see it if I had a different setting and desk, but Rick, uh, aesthetics uh, chief Rick says black is best. The laptop I use when I'm on the road and the phone I use if I'm like taking a walk to stream, but I'm not using it right now. Thanks again, Marty. That's really, really nice of you, Marty. I will, I will do that. I will put it towards the mic. That's really kind of you. And as I said, I'm going to get the, um, when I get back, I'll order it and we can do a stream. And we can try it out. But I think I, I, I took measurements and stuff and I think that's the best one to get. Thanks, Team M. I think it's going to work. Hopefully. Hopefully. This isn't a sweater. I'm just wearing like a long sleeve undershirt and a black t-shirt. It doesn't really read on camera, though. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think you're seeing the shirt and the undershirt. It, I mean, it's just, it's not really distinguishing between the two. All right, so.
Yeah, I don't bring this mic on the road. I just use like the wireless mic I use for streaming on my phone. I just use that for when I'm using my laptop when I'm on the road. Same mic. Wireless mic. I don't take up. I, I don't. I can't take a big mic like on the plane or something. Um, it's a whole thing. So uh, I will be going to Florida in the middle of the week, and I'll have my laptop with me. So if there's like big news, I can in theory, in theory, get on the air on Agenda Free TV. But. I will be traveling certain times, so hopefully I don't miss big news while traveling. Uh, you know, it could happen. So uh, I'm just going to go. I'm going to be in Miami for a few days, and I will be in Key West for a few days, and we will be doing some walking around and doing some live streaming on this channel, guys. We'll be doing some live streaming on this channel. Uh, Ranvel is over there at, on Twitch. So, uh, hey, there's Philippe in the chat. Good to see you again, Philippe. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, like we, did in, like we did in France, in Paris, uh, like we did in Paris, we will be doing some live streams walking around. Yes, Margaret is going. Mary says that the YouTube plaque looks nice. Yeah, the one thing is just that, you know, it's got those little streaks on it from the from the lights above it, but whatever. The thing is, I'm not going to bother with it. The thing I could do, actually, uh, it's a big pain in the butt. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to worry about it. If I really messed with all the... The LED lights, I could like move some of the lights behind. Or so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Go to Two Friends on Front Street for a great seafood and live entertainment, says Cynthia. She recommends it. Oh my gosh, Philippe. People are being incredibly generous tonight. Wow, Philippe Lewis, unbelievable. Jeez. Thanks, Philippe. That's really nice of you. This is Philippe's first Lookner stream. Felice has been a really generous supporter over on Agenda Free TV. This is the first time he's ever seen this channel. Thank you, Philippe. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Very nice of Philippe. Jeez. I'll put it towards something on the trip when we're maybe when we're streaming. Because we'll be doing some streams on the trip. Thanks, Philippe. Very, really nice of you. Thank you so much. Crazy. Thank you. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for, for when I go. Uh, because we will be doing streams. Maybe I'll even do a stream from the airport like I did last time. You know? We'll see. I'm not, I don't promise one for the airport, but we'll definitely be doing streams in Florida. <clears throat> Thank you again, Philippe and Marty and everybody else for being so generous tonight. It's really, 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 really kind of you and generous. Thank you. I'm looking forward to Cuban food, I'll tell you that. I'd like to stream getting some Cuban food. Sandy Beach is here. Sand D Beach. No, I don't like make a big production of it. If I'm at an airport, I can literally like talk into my phone. No one even knows you're live streaming. It's not like I set up lights or anything. It's like you're on a FaceTime call, you know? Doesn't even look, doesn't look any different than being talking to somebody on FaceTime.
Daniel says, a walking stream from Little Havana would be fun. It would be. So I'm looking forward to that. I just hopefully, hopefully while traveling, I'm not, I don't miss some big news, but it happens once in a while. So anyways, Philippe says definitely a lot of chances to practice Spanish. I was there last year a few times and a lot of people working from Argentina because of their hyperinflation. Uh, you know, somebody asked before, I have been practicing my Spanish uh, here. A couple of weeks ago, I told you guys that I have this kind of long-term project of learning a second language. And Spanish is the one I have, the, is the one I'm going to do. Um, I've always wanted to. So I said, I should just do it. But it's a long-term project. The goal is to like learn it well enough that I could like go somewhere and like basically just use that language or mostly use the language. So uh, I have been, I've, I've been uh, practicing though. I've been like looking, I use an app uh, and uh, so you know, there's a lot of good YouTube videos. Oh, I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to this YouTube channel. There's a, there's a really good Spanish YouTube channel. I mean, there's good, there's like good YouTube, it's like whatever topic you want, there's people out there doing really good videos on it, pretty much, I think. Um, but I discovered this channel, and it's just really well done. Uh, it's this woman. She has over a million subscribers, but she's, she's really good. Her, it's, it's called Butterfly Spanish. I just found it, and I watched some different videos, and, and her videos are really good. Philippe says, I believe Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world. Yeah, I think you might be right. Uh, that's another reason I think it'd be good to learn it. But I've always wanted to, to learn a second language. And I was just like, look, I could either, why not do it? Do it in my spare time. And I don't have to do it by tomorrow. I can just do it over time. Learn a little bit every day. Um, Spanish has the second most native speakers, according to Wikipedia. But this, this, this channel is really good. It's so funny because I, when I covered, when I first studied Spanish, which was the last time I studied was in like high school, there was no internet, there were no videos. And if you ever wanted to hear somebody, you had to like get an audio cassette or whatever, you know, if you wanted to like in a controlled environment, hear somebody speak it or something. It's so different now. I mean, you can go online and you can like, you can find, you know, an hour or a half hour lecture, you're basically finding a class and you can just watch it and you can repeat it and you can stop it and you can watch it twice and you can listen to it. And there's all kinds of people doing videos about Spanish. Um, and uh, it's just really, it's just cool. They never had this when I was a kid growing up learning it. So, and I use an app, I use the Babbel app. You know, they never had that stuff. So it's, it's really cool that they have all these resources. They didn't even have, you know, now, if I, just the fact that like, if there's a word I wanna look up, I just go to the internet and look it up. I can look it up on my phone. Hey, I, what's the, what's, how does, how do you say this? Or what's this verb in this tense? I just type it in, think about that. Uh, previously, when I was like in high school, you'd have to have like a Spanish, English dictionary or your textbook. And every time you want to look it up, you got to flip through the textbook and stuff. So, um, so it's just, you have all these resources before that you didn't, that you didn't have before. It's, it's really amazing. Oh my gosh, Marty, geez. Oh my gosh. So generous. What can I say? I don't even have anything to say anything more. Another incredibly generous donation to Mar from Marty who says, thank you to all the mods, including Ruth and Kinetic. Wow, Marty Hagwood, thank you so much. Jeez. Marty and Philippe, thank you. Marty and Hagwood, Philippe Lewis, and everybody else who's donated tonight. You guys have been so generous. But thank you, Marty. Wow, jeez. That is incredibly generous of you. Man. And thanks for shouting out the mods too. Very nice of you all. 
Thanks, Marty. Really, really nice. I am humbled by your guys' support of the channels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for letting me do it. Um, Dilemon says e-learning is making lifelong learning really possible. Another great thing about like, you know, when you watch videos or you use an app, you hear somebody speak it. Like in these videos, she's great, but like she speaks Spanish a bunch in it, you know, like kind of in between the English. When I use my Babbel app, I use this app called Babbel, which is kind of like Duolingo, but you get more of the theory, which I like. Um, you're hearing somebody say this stuff. And, you know, I when I was in high school, I learned stuff, but I wasn't hearing it as much. Um, also, like in high school, I was taking it as a, as a class and it was a big chore to do. Now, I, I just enjoy learning it now. So anyways, I'm not going anywhere tomorrow and being fluent, but I really do want to one day be good enough at it that I can take a trip and stream on the trip, a trip that we can stream on, where I go to a Spanish-speaking Spanish place and I can basically get by and talk to people, which is, it's, it's, it's a high bar. It's a high bar. Uh, but I really want to do it. Marissa says, my son does Babel practices Russian. But that's what I'm, that's my goal. But you can't rush, you know, you got to just do it when you can. Learn a little bit each day. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a long process. And I, but I have a bad, I mean, I took Spanish for six years when I was a kid. Um, so, one day. Apex says, hearing people speak the language makes all the difference. Pardum thinks Mandarin Chinese is easier than English because it's the same sentence structure. I've never tried to learn Chinese. I thought it was hard. But anyways, for me, I have a little background in Spanish. Philippe says, I took Spanish for five years. One reason is because I got to archaeological sites in Mexico, Central and South America, and no one speaks English. Wow. In the towns. I would love to go visit Mexico City. I mean, the thing is, for me... If I could go to Mexico City and understand Spanish well, not be fluent necessarily, but understand it well enough, like to speak it and like interact with people, that would be amazing. That be that to me is so much more uh, fun sounding. I mean, I think it'd be fun to go there anyway, but it'd be really cool to go to some of these places um, and be able to interact that normally I just wouldn't know the language. Oh, thanks, Red Squirrel 82. Thanks for the sticker. It's Red Squirrel 82, the anxious face sticker. Pink says, I took French my whole life, but not much stuck, so I get it. That's our Red Squirrel 82. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah. So anyways, if you're looking for a good Spanish channel, um, she's like, uh, it's just like somebody who is a, she's like a very enthusiastic um, teacher and she makes these videos and she makes them by topic. She'll say, we're going to talk about a certain tense or we're going to, I'm going to give you a hundred phrases you should know. Um, and, and they're just well done. And it's like, she does it. Look, look, I mean, look, a lot of these, some of these views, some of these, some of these videos have millions and millions of views. And some of the ones I'm watching are like 10 years old. Butterfly Spanish. At some point, I will, I will send her, I, I mean, even though she's not doing it live streaming, after, a, after my project, because I'm watching a bunch of her videos, I watch them and I like them, you know, so she makes a little money off me that way. I'll send her a donation at some point just because I appreciate the videos. Um, thank you to AJ. Thank you, AJ. I really appreciate that. Thanks for modding too, AJ. 
Thank you. Wow, so generous. And oh, and oh my gosh, Philippe, Lu Philippe, jeez. Wow, what a crazy, Philippe, that's nuts. Philippe said Spanish lessons and a big thank you for your channels. Oh my gosh, Philippe, crazy. Wow. Jeez. Philippe, I'll put it towards something in my Spanish thing, an app or a Spanish. I was thinking of getting a Spanish dictionary app, which is good. I might do that. But I will be getting something. So, Philippe, that is in incredibly generous of you. Have her on as a guest? I don't know if she'd do it. I would, I would have her on as a guest. I, I mean, she's a pretty popular channel. It's over a million subscribers. Um, hey, Philippe, that's really nice of you. Wow. Thank you. Um, maybe I'll put a bit of it towards this di Spanish dictionary app I was looking at. I'll let you know. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, I just think it would, how cool would that be? Again, it's not going to happen next week or next month, but how cool, this is, this is my goal for this little project here, that one day we can take a trip and we can go to a Spanish-speaking country. I mean, this is a pretty ambitious goal. But I think it's possible that we could take a trip and go to a Spanish-speaking country, country, and I could basically get around speaking Spanish. I don't know. It's hard. It's, you know why it's hard? It's harder... Uh, when you have to understand people, because when they're actually speaking to each other, you know, they're speaking fast, and you're like, wait, what are they saying? It's one thing if you read it, but um, Fierce Warrior says, I learned on a free app to speak Spanish. But that would be, that would be incredible. That would be like a big, thing I always wanted to do. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I am, I am, making, I, I am making a spare time effort to do it. I did it like today when I was cooking my air fryer. I, while I was making the air fryer stuff, I was doing Babel on my phone. You can just kind of do it whenever you have a few minutes. Uh, thanks to our member Joe South Oz, by the way. Philippe says watching Spanish news with subtitles helped a lot with real world applications and sayings. So I have done this thing where I have, um, I tried watching a news report and I couldn't understand it. So I'd like to be able to do that. But I've taken some popular recent songs. I go to YouTube and you can find like really popular recent Latin uh, Spanish language songs by like Shakira or these other other people like Bad Bunny or whatever. Um, and people make videos where they just have the lyrics in Spanish and English. And so I've gone through a couple of those and just kind of tried to piece out, understand what they were saying. And then last night I read an article about the Formula One race in Spanish in a newspaper. And I translated it in English and I put it next to the Spanish and I was just going back and forth. So I do think what Philippe is suggesting, I've heard people, I've watched some videos and heard people say that like the more you can try to consume uh, like popular culture stuff, in Spanish, it's going to help your Spanish. The uh, the one and only says I'm being I'm bilingual, so I can help with what you wish. So I am nowhere near this point. Thank you. Uh, I am nowhere near this point. But maybe, maybe if I can make progress, maybe if I can make progress, we will do some sort of chat room sometime, or even one of these streams where I speak in Spanish. 
uh, and people can type in Spanish, or we do a chat room and we can talk to each other in Spanish. But because um, I'm, I'm guessing we have some Spanish speaking viewers. So we could do that at some point, too. But I, I, I'm not ready for that yet. We're not, we're not at that point. The dude says, I learned more French by our teacher having us sing. What is going on in the chat? Oh, my gosh. Jeez, Marty Hagwood. Oh, my gosh. Marty says, let's make sure we have the Spanish lessons covered. Marty Hagwood and Philippe, uh, I don't know what to say. Gee whiz. Oh, my gosh. Now I have no excuse for not, like, buying a Spanish app or something if I want it. I'll tell you that from Marty, Marty Hagwood and Philippe. That's really nice of you guys. Thank you, Marty. So nice of you. Gee, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Gosh. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. McRib said, did you rob a bank, Marty? They might shut off your credit card. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. It is really, really nice of you guys. Thank you. And everybody who donated. And everybody who does donate. It's really nice of you in general. Because you're the ones who let me do this. So thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Maybe eventually I can put some of it towards the Spanish trip. But that's not going to happen right away. There's a lot of practice that needs to happen. I really want to do it. Hey, thank you again. Well, I, I don't, again, I'm like speechless. It's so nice of you. Thank you so much. I will say this with language stuff. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Walter likes I talky for Spanish. I Riva says the eclipse is making these big tips. Um, I will say something about the language stuff that I do like. Italki. That's what that's. I never used Italki. I'll have to check it out. Walter likes that one. I've heard another. I've heard rocket language. Some people like that one. I'm using Babel right now, and I like it. So there's also a thing where you can do things where you can sign up for things online where you go to like. They have like a. They have like like classes where you can speak a lot with people during the class. So there's that too. I'm not at that point yet, but Michael likes a YouTube award. Yeah, that's that was here. I've had it for years, but I hadn't I neglected to put it up. Um, one thing I'll say about learning the language stuff that I think is really cool is you definitely see progress. Like you you know, if you spend a couple days, you know, just kind of working on it and then then you can read something and you're like, wait a second, a couple days ago, I didn't know what that meant. So you do, you're not fluent, but you do see progress uh, because you're just learning more. And, you know, maybe one day you don't know how to say something. And the next week you're like, oh, I know how to say this thing in English, but now I can say that in Spanish. So you do definitely see that if you're able to practice. Uh, so anyways, we do, how many people, do anybody out there, does any, do any of you, are any of you Spanish speakers in the chat right now? Uh, the one and only says, keep TV shows in the background as you cook, the more you listen, the better. Well, hopefully I get to the point where I can just like watch TV shows or stuff, but I, I'm not like that right now. That's too much for me. Like with the songs, I can't just listen to a song and understand it. I have to like read the lyrics. Brig Commander says, I recommend Madrigal's Key to Speaking Spanish. There's a whole thing about being able to hear it being said and to parse out what the words are even. Um... 
One and only says, I speak Spanish. I am from El Salvador. Okay. TT Happy Rock speaks Spanish. So we do have some viewers who speak it. Cherry Cola says, Marty, please adopt me. Hi, uh, Doofy Fluffy over there on Twitch, by the way. Ranville says, Guatemala Spanish isn't Mexico or Spain Spanish. So I know Spain is a bit different, but supposedly if you speak like Latin American Spanish and you go to Spain, they'll understand you. Uh, oh, Cupcake came by. Hey, good to see you, Cupcake. A lot of people watch you. I haven't, Cupcake, I still need to watch your, your, your video of the cruise, of the, uh, of the cruise, uh, The River Cruise. I will watch it. Pony Boy, do you speak Spanish? Yeah, it says, finally, the cruise Steve and I missed Paris Seine River sightseeing cruise right here. Oh, you know... I got a Eddie stop by. We didn't hear much from Eddie Smith. I want to hear more from Eddie too. I have to reach out. Uh, we'll have to. Hopefully, Eddie stops back in soon. Here, uh, I'll actually share this. Cupcake cruise video. Linda said it's a great stream. I just posted the link to it. You can watch it. Hey, Chris Graffs. Sarah says, really like the river cruise. Jonathan Green says, I took Spanish throughout middle school and high school, but I'm not remotely fluent. A reminder, I will be... Oh, Gringo probably speaks Spanish. Gringo is, lives in Mexico. I think Gringo might live in Mexico City. Lego Mike points that out. So remember, we are covering the eclipse on Agenda Free TV. I think as soon as I get off the air, I think before I go to bed tonight, I'll post the eclipse. Uh, I'll post the eclipse event on Agenda Free TV so people can go in the chat and stuff. Philippe, I don't think you're going to make me take salsa da dancing lessons. That's a very generous thought of you, Philippe Lewis, but I, I think I would return it rather than, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Yeah, so we're going to be covering the eclipse again, probably getting on around noon Eastern time. So I'll put that event up when I finish this stream. I'll put that event up and you guys can like go in the chat there and chat if you want. Okay. Yeah, so we got a lot, a lot coming up. Uh, Sussy, what are you talking about? We got a lot coming up. And, 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 and in a few days, we'll be doing stream, some streams from Florida, which so we, we'll, be, we'll be doing some Lookner streams later this week. Hey, Derek is here. Derek, maybe when I'm in Florida, I can pick up something for the, for the uh, shells. Derek is one way street. Randy S says, My mom spoke Italian. So we'll go a couple more minutes here and then um, 
Then I'll wrap it up, and then we'll be streaming tomorrow on Agenda Free TV. Oh, I was going to check the news. Joseph, I think there's a typo. It says, is there anywhere you to visit? I'm just doing a quick news check. I don't see anything huge. Oh, did Philippe say good night? Hold on. Thank you, Philippe. Again, incredibly generous of you. So much. I'm glad you. I'm also. I'm just glad in general you found the channel. We're, we get that once in a while. I think a couple a couple streams ago there was somebody else who said like, I knew you had this other channel, but never had never knew you had this one. Yeah, it's it's different. Oh, Euro Maestro had a live stream today. Yeah, if you go to, if you want to see Euro's live stream today, go to Euro. Uh, Euro was very nice and offered to. Let me use the footage if I was covering it, but I wasn't. There was a fire in a, I don't, I don't, I, the article I read in BFM TV said there was a fire and they didn't know what caused it. So there might've been an explosion too in Paris and Euro went over there and shot some video there. So you can go over to at Euro Maestro on Twitter and look at Euro's, watch Euro's stream if you'd like. I don't even know if Euro's still in the chat. It's late there. Um, Hotel USA is here. Uh, Miami and, and, and Key West, One Way Street. We'll be doing some streaming from there. So looking forward to that. Yes, and as I said before, I will have my laptop with me. So if I have, if there's a big, if there's big news, I should be able to get on and do an agenda-free TV stream. Although it won't look as good as it normally does, but I should be able to do something. Uh, well, oh, Derek says went to both on my honeymoon eleven years ago. Send me recommendations if you have them. Lori says spray tan. Who knows? Maybe I'll be tan when I come back. We'll be walking around a lot. Maybe the news can hold off for like the week or so that I'm there. And then when I'm back, it can just pick it up, pick up or whatever. But you never know. You never know what's going to happen. I'm sure some, some kind of news will happen when I'm there. Uh, Philippe says Key West has a lot of roosters running around the streets wild from the time when they used to be used for fighting and now they're just running around wild. Roy Stalin stopped by. Jeff Hall Kemp says what a WrestleMania. Uh, I'll be bringing the raincoat with me. The raincoat I tried on last time. We did a whole try stream where I tried. If you missed it, we did a, the last stream on this channel. We did was when I tried out the new microphone and light, and you guys helped me, right here. Trying out a new webcam and light to use with the laptop. So thank you. Marin Gobra is here. We got people stopping in late. Lunali says, I got a free membership. I don't know from who, but thank you so much. 
One of our viewers said like in Europe, they can like see some of the eclipse or something. I don't even know how that works. They'll be able to see some of it. Canada is going to see some of the eclipse tomorrow too. Some of the total eclipse. Hey, Green King Dog is over there on Twitch. Hello, Green King Dog. All right. I think we're getting close to that time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, after this stream, post the stream, but it's not going to go live yet. I'm going to post the event on YouTube, at least, for the Eclipse stream. So I'll do that when we finish here. So a few minutes after this ends, uh, I'll have the YouTube stream posted, like the opening page uh, for the Eclipse stream, and people can chat in the chat room there if they want to. Uh, and I think we're gonna wrap this up last night. Uh, Mar Marty says, I wish the AFTV chat was more like this and less toxic. Well. It's news versus not news. Very different over here. Smaller crowd over here, too. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be streaming during the eclipse. I'm gonna be streaming on, on Agenda Free TV. Um so I really appreciate you guys uh being here tonight and um thank you for coming to the stream. I hope you can stop by the uh, I hope you can stop by the Eclipse stream tomorrow. Kevin says, see you on Eclipse coverage. Thank you. Uh, and a huge thanks to all of our moderators who are amazing. All, all the great mods we had tonight. Bash and Girl, David Green, Sarah, Linda Bell, K-Body, AJ, Ruben Urban was here before. Uh... BZ, I think I said BZ, Raven Riley. We've had a bunch of moderators here. Misty, Linda Belk was here. Huge thanks to all of our mods. Uh, special shout out to uh, Marty Hagwood and Philippe Lewis. Incredibly generous of you. Really appreciate your support uh, for the channels. Really, really kind of you. Guys, amazing. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. So nice of you. And also just everybody who donated, uh, thanks for, for your support of the channel, uh, Ryan, you know, uh, and all of our members too. Uh, Desi Des, thank you. The Ring of X, Ruben Urban, John A, Jeffrey M, Red Squirrel, thanks Red Squirrel. All those gift memberships, Gordon Gott, Daniel Bobberson, uh, Joan Rosary, Joan Rosier, I'm sorry, Joan Rosier, um, Paul G, uh, DL Vids, and all of our members, Pony Boy, Joe South, Oz, The Ringa, Ryan, The Gamer, so many members, Budget Girl, Red Squirrel, Kimberly Barr, Evelyn, and all of our viewers. PZ Papa Zulu, Ranville Cherry Cola, Rick Hoppy, Fierce Warrior, One Way Street, Cupcake, Josh Tompkins, Darren Markley, Beaker. Yeah, we got the plaque up tonight. Look at, thanks for your help with the plaque. We finally got the plaque up. Thanks for encouraging me to do the Spanish thing. I will keep learning. One day, hopefully we can do it one day. It's again, not going to be soon. But one day, maybe we can go to a country where they speak Spanish and I can go around. That is the goal. That's our goal. We have a goal. Hey, you know, Munoz Element. Be well. Be well. Thoughts with you, Munoz Element. Derek, One Way Street just noticed the plaque. Yep, it is now up there. Gas on the brain. Thanks for being here, JCC. Yeah, AJ says A AFTV3 Spanish channel soon. That's not happening.
All right. But thank you, everybody, uh, for being here tonight. And I, I, we will hopefully see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll be there. Hopefully, I'll see you at the, uh, at the, at the, uh, at the, on the uh, Eclipse stream. One and only, thanks for being here. Ronald came. Lego Mike. Dr. McRib. Marissa Pugliass. All right, wrapping this up. I'm going to, right after this is done, I'm going to post the event on YouTube for the Eclipse stream. Oh, Don Coven was modding. Don Coven stopped in. Good seeing you, Don. We're wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Sandra Whalen, thanks for being here. Pink Cyber Decker. Thanks, guys. All right, wrapping it up. One Way Street says, Mr. Beast has translated channels. That's cool for him. Constant Creek Freedom, thanks for coming to the Eclipse tomorrow. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, I will see you on the Eclipse stream. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks again, Mods. And we will see you. And again, shout out again to, uh, to again, Marty Hagwood and Philippe Lewis, everybody else who donated. It's so nice of you guys. Thank you. All right, that is it for now. Uh, and we're going to play your outro song now. Here comes the outro song. Uh, as Marty says, cue the music. All right, we'll see you soon.